y'all what's up what's up welcome back to our channel this is a life with me plus two i'm max nice to meet y'all i'm driving so i probably won't be looking at you guys i am actually um heading to some uh a work con conference if you've been following me you know that i actually work from home but we are having our global growth summit um meetings and so i am heading in to the office to go to our meetings oh my gosh what are you doing sir anywho and dallas sucks with traffic traffic sucks i left my house at 6 45 for eight o'clock meeting and i'm going to now be 11 minutes late this week is kind of packed a little bit for me again i'm doing my work meetings for the next couple of days xavier has a meeting on saturday for a kappa event that i'm introducing him to and hope it, hopefully it fits sarai actually just did her application for her associate's degree yesterday i didn't bring you guys with with me it's, it was just quick we just had to pull out of paperwork or whatever to enroll so um that and then what else is going on this week i think that's it going on this week I think I have anything fun going on or whatever. I did say I was going to come back and be more consistent. So I'm going to try to show you guys more of, you know, what's going on with us. Um, I've been working like crazy. I did pick up a part-time job because my kids cost me a lot of money. So, you know, YouTube is not my full-time job. You know, my, my business is not my full-time. I have to make the bread and butter. So work is full time so i'm trying to get to this office it's not really off the office we're actually at the Louisville chamber of commerce they booked me a hotel for the night because who's doing this who not me i'm not doing this i'm not going back home an hour <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and 20 minute drive just to do it back again in the morning actually no i'm already late you see trying to leave early at this point i should have left the house at 6 a.m <coughs> anywho now i'm starting to cough so i'm gonna see y'all a little later bye y'all okay y'all so the lighting sucks in here but i didn't get to i'm a mess i look a mess i didn't get to show you guys any of the evening events or the the, the events throughout the day because it was just jam-packed so busy but we are at spring hill suites by marriott in Louisville. By the time you guys see this, I'll be gone. So don't come looking for me. Let me show y'all the room real quick. Let me hurry up and get myself together so we can get up out of here. So this is when you walk in. There's like a little mini refrigerator, microwave, little office space, you know, little sofa, whatever. Which is weird that that sofa's right there, but maybe if you have company and you wanna talk. But this is the room. This is what I have up today, I'm dirty. So put that on today. I don't know, it's not my shirt. Um, anywho, this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom shower. So they gave me a little view of the pool. Whatever. But that's it. Let me close this back. So like I said, yeah, that's it. The lighting is better like this. Come on, lighting. My hair has held up for the most part. Um, it's 90 degrees, but let me freshen up and get over to pottery. Not us getting the police called on us. We were in a co-worker's room and we were having a beer or two, fireball or two. And we weren't really quiet, but we weren't really loud either. And this guy, oh, let me turn this back off. And this guy, like the door opened because somebody was leaving and we saw this guy out, uh, you know, walking out with his shirt off. Didn't think nothing of it. He went to go complain on us. 
the phone was ringing in our coworker's room and we didn't answer because, well, he didn't answer because he didn't hear the phone ringing and we told him the phone was ringing or whatever. In either case, long story short, the guy, sorry y'all, the guy with no shirt on called the police on us saying we were too loud. Then he goes downstairs because we really had, like our company like requested the room downstairs on the first floor for us to kind of have like a chill little situation or whatever. We had music playing, wine, whatever. And that man went all the way downstairs to the concierge and waited, waited for the police to come. Yeah. And then they ended up shutting the party down because they were saying that, oh, well, the concierge guy that was flirting with me, by the way, ended up saying that he called the GM because the man wanted a comp room and a comp night and all that stuff because we were allowed. And the guy was like, well, you know, I told the GM and, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to let you guys, your company come back over here or whatever. Yeah. Call the police on us. So it's 11.24. We had the downstairs till midnight, but the big boss, the director and stuff told us, you know what, let's call it a night and we'll keep it moving. So I'm back in the room. I'm about to wash my face. I'm about to take a shower and I'm about to go to bed. So it was a long day. My skin is skinny. You see that? Oh my God. But it was a long day. I'm tired. I'm gonna wash my face. I already checked on my kids. Everybody at home is great. They're being taken care of. So y'all don't gotta worry about it. Um, and yeah, I'm about to put these flexi rods in, take a shower, and go to bed. So I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Peace out. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Anyways, um, so today's Thursday, last day of our conferences. So yeah, you guys, I have on a green top, some jeans, the lighting sucks in here, so I'm sorry. And my chucks, so again, nothing major. And that's it, I'ma see y'all later. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. Hey y'all, so it's Saturday morning. It is Memorial weekend. I really ain't doing much. Xavier got something going on today that he's hanging out with Deidre, but I wanted to show you guys what I threw on. I just have on a little crop top. I think these are, this is from Forever 21, I think. These jeans, are from i don't remember maybe walmart or maybe walmart and then my dunks and then a fanny purse we're just gonna go to the meeting drop sarai at her friend's house and i may stop over my co-workers um barbecue it's a housewarming graduation thing so y'all might see a little bit of the day where y'all might see me when i get back i don't know i put no makeup on nothing it's just a chill day so, yeah, we'll talk to y'all when we get back. Hey, y'all. So, I'm back home. I didn't, I took the camera with me. Sorry if it's loud in here. I'm, like, doing dishes. And, well, I'm not doing dishes. The dishwasher is. But I brought you guys with me to the meeting I had about the Kappa League for Xavier. But I didn't videotape like I didn't turn the camera on because I'm not gonna invade anybody's privacy I don't know if any of the information that they were gonna give where it was going to be private information it was only supposed to be information for the people that were um, there the people that showed up um, and want their son to be a part of the program and sign up that day so I didn't bother to record but I'm cooking some saltfish fritters and they get Jamaican sawfish fritter but whatever however you want to say it but the Kappa League yeah so uh we're very interested it's a men mentorship program for young men in the 6th to 11th grade and Xavier is going to the 7th grade next year it's not close by it's actually in my old area well not too much because I lived in South Arlington um so it was at the Arlington library so it's in Arlington, so we'll be driving to Arlington once a month, I think the meetings are, and whatever else he has to do anything else or what have you. So I'm making the commitment 
we don't have to see how that goes. I feel like the mentorship for him would be very valuable. Um, you know, he needs strong men in his life. And plus, of course, you know, when you're in a mentorship program, it's very much so a networking opportunity. So, you know, to, I'm trying to teach him at a young age to network and be present, public speaking. They're going to teach financial literacy. They're going to be volunteering, um, doing college talks and applications and all that stuff. So in all, Xavier will end up being in it for like six years before he goes to college. I was supposed to go to my coworker's housewarming, but the meeting ended kind of early and I came home, jumped on my part-time job and just got off. And then now I'm cooking the saltfish fritters. Plus, plus it's in Louisville. And that's about an hour and change for me from being home. It's just way too far. So I'll send her a little something. That dog is a mess. Just a mess. Just barking at nothing. There's nothing out there, y'all. As soon as the door opens, she starts to bark. Anywho, now I'm home making these saltfish um, fritters. If you guys, this is not a cooking tutorial. I was just coming to kind of end my evening with you. I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day. So if you want a cooking tutorial, if you want to see how I make these saltfish fritters, then drop a comment in the uh, below and let me know and I'll do a separate video. After I finish doing this, I'm going to be looking up some travel information for one of my clients. She's going to Thailand for her birthday and she needs some booking information. So I'm going to be doing that. So again, I've never told you guys, but I started a new business. I am a travel professional. Um, so I book travel. So hit me up and let me know if you have any kind of travel plans that you need help with. You know, with being a travel professional, I'm able to get good deals along with taking the hassle away from you guys looking up your own travel and even if there are issues and stuff like that you know what I mean so it takes that hassle away so let me know my business is called next journey destination so you can hit me up in the comments follow me on Instagram at Max Edwards hair um, I do have a Facebook next journey destination on Facebook um, so if you have any questions, DM me, drop a comment below, whatever, and I will answer your questions. I'm tired from doing my work stuff, my work conferences, um, my Global Growth Summit. Then, you know, driving that length of time to it. And then getting there, being in meetings all day, hanging out and partying with my team and what have you. And then driving back home and jumping back on my part-time job. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired. I'm off Monday for the holiday memorial for my full-time job, but I'm not off on my part-time job. Plus, they're giving 55 extra hours for overtime at my part-time job. And, you know, I'm traveling to Boston and to Dubai. Boston next month and to Dubai in September. So I'm trying to take all the hours I can get, okay? I ain't got no holiday plans but work. I'm working a double. And plus, I have to pick Sarai back up from her friend's house. I dropped her off in Arlington at her friend's house. Because yesterday was her friend's birthday, 16th birthday. So, I have to do that on Monday after working a five hour shift for my part time. And yeah, then working another five hour shift later on that night. So, yeah, I'm just gonna rest today. I work tomorrow night on my part time because I work Sundays. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be a restful Saturday for me. But anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. My eyes are watering, gotta go, bye. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. It is 3.50. I said, let me come close this vlog out because I haven't done anything all day. I literally relaxed all day. Xavier's not here. He's with Deidre um, for a couple of days. He comes home tomorrow. Sarai's not here. She's at her girlfriend's house. And yeah, I've just been home all day. My back hurts a little bit. I have to work at 5 o'clock. I didn't cook nothing on this fine Sunday. 
I actually have to work tomorrow my part-time job. I'm off my full-time job. So I was like, you know what? Ain't nobody here to take care of but the dogs. So I'm just going to lay around all day. So I've literally been laying around all day. My hair is, I need to wash my hair. I've literally been laying around all day long. And I wish I could stay laying around and relax. Because last week was so busy. But um, I can't. So I'm about to get up and eat stupid food. I don't know what it is. I want something to drink from Sonic. So I'm about to go to Sonic, get something to drink, and then I'm going to see what else is out there. I might get a salad from somewhere or something, but in either case, the dogs, the girls are outside. Boston just went outside. So I say, you know what? It's almost 4 o'clock, and I have to be to work at 5. You know, I work in my living room. I kind of want to make flurry, but I am going to Sonic. So I might get a Sonic blast. Child, I ain't finna eat half of the stuff that I'm talking about. Um... I'm going to update y'all on that too. I'm on no Zempic. So I really, as soon as I like take three, four bites, I'm over it. But I have a taste for something. I've literally just been in the bed all day and I have not done anything, eaten anything. And it's four o'clock. So let me go put something in my stomach. Thanks for watching this vlog. We, we trying to grow. I know I'm not as, I, I have not been as consistent as when I first started, but I'm getting back, baby. I uploaded, uploaded a vlog today. You know what I'm saying? So, and then this one's gonna go up for next Sunday. So, I'm in this thing. Next week, I don't really have a lot going on. Yes, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. The following week, Sarai, the kids are going to Atlanta. Xavier has an appointment to do his passport and stuff like that. So, there might be a little things here and there. Um, this summer is a working summer. I'm gonna be hustling real hard. Um, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get y'all some vlogs up. I've gotten two up. This is gonna be three. So I'm gonna get it do get it going and do what it needs to be done. Anywho, I'm rambling. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Yeah. Bye guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell all your people them so them can like, comment, and subscribe too. Comment need some people. I think I'm at like 1,400 subscribers. But my videos aren't getting the views that it used to. So, yeah. Tell your friends, your mama, your daddy, your grandmammy, your father, your sister, brother, everybody to watch, like, comment, subscribe. My Jamaican people spread it all over Jamaica. And then, you know, whatever. So, anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.